Hey guys, how are you today? I hope you had a very Merry Christmas. And um, if you don't celebrate Christmas, a happy whatever holiday you do celebrate. I wanted to come to you just real quick to share with you my new updated business Bible slash planner. I used to keep it in a binder. It's been filmed before uh, and that video is in my Facebook group. You can go over to Facebook and join the group A Life of Art and Self-Expression. The link is in the description below. And uh, you can see that old video and a few other things I sometimes load straight over to the Facebook group. And they don't go on YouTube or anything. But anyway, I've updated it for 2016. I got this Webster's Pages planner for Christmas. And I love it. Um, it's the bigger one, which is perfect for what I'm going to be using it for. And I'll show you what I've done. So instead of using it for a straight planner, I'm using it for a sort of a planner but for the art business kind of planner, sort of. <laughs> Not really lots of personal stuff in it, just art business stuff. Here, of course, I've got my business cards, my business licenses and things like that are tucked inside the front cover. And I used some of the Webster's Pages inserts that came with the planner. I love this page. Don't you just love that? This was actually like the throwaway little piece of paper uh, that was on top of everything and I, I cut it down to size and fit uh, to fit in here and punched holes in it so it would fit in. It just says hello. Whoa. Um, this is one of the papers that came in here and I have a bunch of these little square um, pictures. These are from Printstagram and um, sometimes I find memes and things on the internet and I print them on Printstagram squares of cardstock and I use them in different things so I taped them into a few different places here. Um, they all have um, sort of positive affirmation quotes on them for me. This is my sort of notes list for 2016. This is sort of the placeholder thing that comes with the, the planner. These are some inserts that I created for myself that are to-do lists. Instead of having all the different ones that were laminated, I made these um, that have uh, some personal chore things on them, but also the art business things on them, like everything in one place, which is going to be handy for me. And then a blank one with projects and like shopping lists and things like that on it. Because this thing is probably going to be going around with me more than it has been in the past. And then this section is notes, but it's notes on a bunch of different stuff, including YouTube, broadcasting, website, uh, goals, and that sort of thing. And of course, here's another one of those little um, uh, Instagram cards and all my notes. And then projects. And of course, another little card. And I just changed what was on these tab dividers with my label maker, and I made new labels to suit what I needed it to be. Classes that I'm taking, another little card. And or have taken or kept track of, these are the prompts from 2014 and 2015 for both Documented Life and Journal 52. Social media. teaching, places that I'm teaching, and notes about those teaching things that I need to keep track of. Um, embellishment and prompt ideas. Yes, I do have a whole section for that. I always have, but now it's clean and neat and I know exactly where it's at. Um, and then the calendar pages. And in the back I did keep one of my old checklists, um, which was the yearly one, which is one I really need to do keep track of. And I put one pocket um, page divider thing in the back here, and then I've got some other important papers tucked in the back side and my pen right here, and I think it's going to work out perfect for 2016. So if you've got a planner laying around, but you're not really a planner person, maybe you can use it to keep yourself organized some other way, in my case for the art business, and give it a shot. You could also turn them into some really pretty journals. I think that would be fun too. Um, fill it with watercolor paper or something. I think that would be really great. All right, that's it for right now, everybody. I hope you have had a Merry Christmas and you have a Happy New Year. And don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye.